That is awesome. All right, so everyone has their favorite pizza place and style. There's the thin crust, the pan, the Chicago, and the New York style. Everyone also has their favorite sandwich, too. Well, we want to introduce you to Flancers. Uh, we are talking right now to Chef Greg. In just a few minutes, we are going to be talking uh, with the owner, Jeff Flancer. But you guys have a, a big charity event coming up. We're going to get do. to that in a second. But you guys are known for your sandwiches, your pizza. And at the end of the show, we're going to show you how to make the pizza. But right now, we're going to show you how to make an awesome bruschetta. Exactly. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with a nice hot pan. And we're going to add a little bit of veggie oil to it, canola oil, preferably. Okay. And then we made some ahead of time. We took some goat cheese and mixed it with some parsley and a little bit of salt and pepper and some fresh breadcrumbs. So we're now, do you use breadcrumbs or the panko? Because I always hear. Well, you know what's what? your secret? We take our bread, our fresh baked oh, bread, okay. and then we grind it up like the day old bread, and uh -huh. we make our own breadcrumbs out of it. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so it works and this out is something really you well. could do ahead of time, right? I mean, a, a, a day or two ahead of time. Absolutely, yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. So, so we'll get those going, and then what we want to do is take our bread, and I've already sliced some up over here. Now, this is something you guys serve as an appetizer over there at Flancers? We sure do. This is one of our best appetizers. Okay. Well, you've been there five it's years. So is this good. your creation, or is this Mr. Flancers? It's Mr. Flancers. Okay. Yeah. So then we got some nice sliced fresh bread, and I'm going to take some extra virgin olive oil, put a little bit on each piece. Yum. Okay, just the, like the that. The pizza's already going, so it smells so good. And then in the I have studio. a mix of oregano and Parmesan cheese, and we're going to put a little bit of that on each piece. So you guys are um, in Mesa. You're also in Gilbert. That's and, correct. Uh, uh huh. You've been in the valley for 11 years. 11 I guess? years in Gilbert. Yeah, Gilbert and Guadalupe, and uh, like almost three years at Higley and McKellips in Mesa. Great. Well, yeah. it looks like things are going well for so you I'm guys. So I'm going to take this and put it in the oven, and we're okay. going to toast it off just a little bit. Okay. How, what's a little bit to you? Uh, you know, just till it's nice and golden brown. And what I did is I made up some ahead of time, just okay. so we have it ready. Oh, you know how this whole TV thing works, don't Definitely. you? Definitely. <laughs> so that's that's what it's going to look like when it comes out of the oven. Now, is as this well a, as the goat cheese. Is this a typical bruschetta? Because I don't. You know what? It's typical. Cheese. It's typical to the point where we add the goat cheese to it. Okay. Definitely. I mean, most people might use uh, mozzarella or something right, like that. Right, that's how I've always had it. Goat cheese really takes it up over the top. Well, we're going to let you know what, what we think about this in just a few oh, minutes. Oh, yes, definitely. And then you have um, tomatoes. Have you marinated so those? These are Roma tomatoes that were sliced, um, and then we marinated them in uh, fresh garlic, fresh basil. That's not going to work. Well, I'm going to let you do this, and I'm okay. going to call over um, Mr. Jeff Lancer if he'll put his video camera down. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to call you out. Come on over here, Jeff, and he's going to be getting this ready. Um, you have a really great event that's going on in a couple of weeks. Tell me about it. Right. We have our, uh, our 11th annual pizza eating contest. Uh, it's a charity event. We've got charity um, events for the next three weeks and actually kicks off today. And right. when you say pizza eating contest, are people eating like whole pizza? You have to eat whole pizzas or slices of pizzas? Yes, everybody gets a whole pizza in front of them. It's the most you can eat in 15 minutes. you got to eat the crust. Have people and ever had more than one pizza? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Actually, last year's winner ate 18 slices, which there's the, that, that's a large pizza. They, they ate two of those that's eight slices. plus two oh, slices, and that was in 15 minutes. And you got to eat the crust. Do you get a lot of women entering? or uh, We've everyone had uh, Miss Arizona crowns the winner. We've had a Miss Arizona enter. We've had some women before. Um, but um, but mostly it's guys doing it. Okay, are you and pretty kids. good at pretty fast? I've never done it. I've yeah. never done it. So well, this could I've be never a first. done it either. So how about <laughs> at the end of the show today, you and I will will duel off with a little pizza eating contest? That's, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, sounds good. I, I I think I'm pretty fast. Okay, what do you think? Uh, we'll You're see. pretty fast. No, I don't know. I don't know. I really <laughs> never attempted it. So then let's do it. Okay. Okay, we're gonna have you back in just a little bit, and uh, so get ready. Start. You know, getting ready for that pizza, okay. and we're going to finish it off right here with Chef, are. Chef G. So now I have the tomatoes on top of the toasted bread, and um, I'm going to hit it with some balsamic vinegar. Oh, yeah, vinegar. that's the best right there. Balsamic vinegar really does it. So is this exactly what it looks like at, at the restaurant? Uh, pretty it much. Comes with this many pieces? Yep, and... five pieces to an order. Yep, it's, okay. a, it's a great appetizer. And then a little more extra virgin olive oil. Oh, it just keeps getting better and better. I hope you're going to put that goat cheese right on top, right? And I'm putting the goat cheese yeah. right on top. That's really what uh, takes it over the top. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm so ready. i got to try this. It's so good. 
I, although, you know what? Maybe I'll wait because I really want to do well in this pizza eating contest because now it's a challenge. Well, think of it as a warm up, though. I mean, you got to, you know, you got to wet the appetite, you know. Yeah, that no, sort of I want to be good and ready. I am going <laughs> to save a piece for me. I'll okay. save a piece for you and I'll share with the crew we here. Can do that. Um, but when we come back, you guys have a, a sandwich. What's, what's it called? The That's meat? We Must Meet. I Ain't Lying. It's filet mignon, gorgonzola cheese, caramelized onions. It's really good. You are teasing me really now. Really good. Okay, well, we'll be back in just a little bit. And, uh,